Our team is so excited to take all of the love that they put into this as fans and give it to fans. This is the game that yes. they've dreamed yes. of yes. for yes. 20 yes. years. Yes. Hogwarts Legacy! <laughs> Elder Ring goes to, I don't know, I don't know what that is. Guys, I'm on the hype train. I am on the hype train, choo choo mother This game is literally everything I want. Literally everything we all wanted. And I'm gonna have to stop the hype train right there. Everyone, everyone get the hell out. <laughs> get out, get out. I don't wanna be that guy. I don't wanna be that guy that says this. But I'm gonna be the guy. Cyberpunk. We, as a species of gamers, cannot forget what Cyberpunk did to us. So we all need to keep our hype levels down. I know it's Harry Potter. I know it's Harry... I know it was Harry Potter! But we're gonna keep the hype levels in check. I came in with zero expectations for this trailer. And I came out feeling like a won the world's heavyweight championship. I really hope, I really hope, look, look, I'm on my knees, I'm praying, I'm begging, please, please be as good as it looks. Please let this game quench my Harry Potter thirst. A thirst that's been lingering since the Deathly Hallows Part 2. This could be the game that continues the legacy the films left behind, but in a good way. See Fantastic Beasts? This, this is a big no. But Hogwarts Legacy? Hogwarts Legacy? You better be good to me. You hear me? You better be good to me. Make me believe you will be good to me. It looks so good. I'm back on the hype train. I'm going to Hogwarts. First of all, you can create your own character and pick your house. So you already know I'm going to make the Joker and Slytherin. But from this trailer, they didn't really show all the options. So this is either going to be like Elden Ring level of creation or... Everyone is gonna look like a default. Also, I'm guessing this game is gonna be similar to like Persona 5, where you have to balance doing all the cool shit, like find the broomstick, play Quidditch, and fighting trolls. With your school life, like uh, doing exams and fighting trolls. The graphics and animations don't look the best, but they're more than decent. And that's okay because I'm sure, I'm sure most of the efforts, you know, went towards the actual game rather than big epic cutscenes. The character and world designs just look like they came out of the books and the movies and somehow, somehow did a fusion because they, they look so fun and quirky and just, oh, just, just wizardry as shit. Look at him, look at him, just, just look at him. He's so lively. But here's the real meat of the game and that's learning the dark arts and dueling because, let's be honest. Let's be honest, let's, let's be frank. That, that's all we can really care about. I'm not even playing the game and I'm already having fun. Not bad for a beginner. You little bet. You can make potions and learn different spells, which gets me so excited. I'm predicting that in the classroom, you're gonna get like normal spells, you know, normal beginner spells. And as you develop your character you, and, and when you explore the world, you get access to forbidden magic. Forbidden magic, like- I'm gonna come back with that! All right, so this also gets me really excited. It's the fact that Hogwarts is practically a dungeon in itself because you'll be able to explore its secrets and do puzzles and shit. Will there be like the Chamber of Secrets in this and the big ass chessboard with Ron on the horse? Like, can I go to Dumbledore's office and board his forks and just mess up his shits? Is the giant spider in this game? But this game is based in the late 1800s, so the famous Harry Potter characters are not gonna be in it, which is good because I'd rather this be its own thing and just add to the lore in a good way. But if you can get a pet Dobby, then I'm 100% sold because I'm gonna check that piece of shit. But I don't think the story will be that good. Nothing, and I mean nothing, will be as good as the original Harry Potter books and films. So my expectations in that department is very low. But if they bring the heat, so help me. If they bring the heat, <laughs> I'm here for it. But from this trailer, the main antagonist seems to be a goblin. A goblin! <laughs> A GOBLIN! A GOBLIN! <laughs> so yeah, when I was a baby, I thought this is what the Chamber of Secrets game on the PS2 looked like. But this... This is just... This is just... Ah! Like how you're able to change your spells up against different enemies who have different buffs and weaknesses and do combos and shit. Like you can do the Expoliosius into Prometheus into a Shining Wind into a uh, Shalodosius like it's nothing. This year is that. Zelda, God of War and now Hogwarts! Uh, oh my holiday 2022 is just... Santa Claus has to wait. Santa Claus has to wait. The gameplay reminds me of Spider-Man's combat with all the objects around the place, but mixed in with, I don't know, mixed in with like something like the Witcher, like a, a bit of flavor of the Witcher or something. But I think this is what they focused on a lot. Like you can see the pure love for this game by the developers. Like they know the Harry Potter shit. Like they know it. I'm not even gonna say anything. Just, just let the gameplay do all the talking. Like just take my money. 
Just take my money. Just take it now. Just take my money now. Like uh, in advance. Just take it. Oh man, the more you level up and get more spells, uh, you can mix it up, allowing you to have your own play styles. That that is so that is so cool because you're telling me you're telling me there's a chance that I can be an evil dark lord in this game and raise a Dobby army to take over the world. <laughs> I hope the upgrades are more complex, uh, you know, than this looks, but. Uh, you know, you can have your own little wizard room full of traps and loot and gear and shit. You know, just to store all your shit and create unique ass potions and give you different buffs and weird ass traps. I mean, <laughs> I can't, I cannot contain my excitement. Like, Betty the Blabbers! <laughs> Betty the Blabbers! <laughs> that's it, that's it. That, that, now, now they really did it. Now, they really did it. I'm actually impressed by how much is in this game. They just keep adding more stuff and one can only wonder what the updates and DLC would be like. They're also introducing this thing called Room of Requirement. And from my first impressions, I don't know, you can see mobile-like elements like having to wait to get resources and and, and I know it's really nothing, but it, it, it's, it makes me kind of... Yeah. But this, this is what just got me. This is what made me just go, hey! Like, that was my reaction. Guys, I don't believe it. You can have your own hub. I thought you could just have your own room and have your own little special shit there, like your potions, your magic and all that shit, but no! You, you get your own paradise and you can create your own house! You can capture magical beasts like Pokemon. This is too much. This is this is just too much. They, they, they're adding too much. Hogwarts Legacy is shaping up to be one of the biggest Biggest games ever. Uh, there is just so much hype for this game, and I'm worried. I'm worried in case it doesn't live up to what this trailer has shown us. And and I believe, and I believe it's been in the works since like what 2018, but probably even before that. I really hope this will be good. Like, I really, really hope. I really hope this will be good because it's really, really ambitious. So there's only one thing left to say. Cyberpunk.